Welcome back, folks, to episode of Manamadan. Or Manamadan. Whatever. So, let's drop ourselves in. We're in the dark. Actually, 2 a.m. in the morning right now, and I'm actually playing this. We. I don't think we haven't. We haven't, like, prologue yet, but. This game is kind of scary. I'd rather play alone. <laughs> I don't have any any with me, uh, so let's continue the story, everybody. Let's get a little bit butterfly effect, more shipwrecked than other other games. So yeah, this game is kind of scary, and I don't. I'm playing it in the dark. I remember. Dawn, it's uh, until dawn in the dark every time that game was this one's different this was more like psychological stuff and it's scarier than uh, until dawn but no one else we gotta get out of here now It's a great reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. You Will you marry me? me? I, I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Fuck yeah, say yes. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> it's kinda cool. Oh my god, dude. Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is... Let me check. She's a little bit, uh, excited, selfish, witty, and gentle. Alex, hey, that's me. How you doing? Her... Her husband, Alex, right now, Brad, uh, who's Fliss? I think Fliss is the, um, is the captain yeah, of the boat? We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? The fuck? Oh, yeah, those are those, uh, people. Wait. We're following us. We gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! We... we have to decompress! Cautious. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress. Stay cautious on this man. I'm not... I'm not trying to like... Okay, so our relationship with Alex is actually going up. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Oh my god, we got married. 
Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. I'm sinking though. <laughs> okay, where's her brother? The other. I forgot his name. God damn it. No, we're back doing doing this again. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying Brad, to swim you with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. What I got to give this game is the uh, the uh, mo -cap motion capture in this game is like way it's way better than Until Dawn. The mocap in the other game was horrible. Like the face in the freaking psychiatrist looked like he to like have a seizure every time he was talking. Basically, certain death. Well, certain. I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball. This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played, there, man. No. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. I thought it was a shark tooth. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Cheerful. Come on, you just go. I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Provocative. Just provocative I'm a little sure bit. My dad will want to spare no expense. Great. What? If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, people are going to think I married you for your money. No, oh, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bot. Julia. Hmm. I didn't mean to do it hey, like that. Hey, like, what do you think's not a big deal? Really? I'm sorry that's on your mind. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Playful. See, playful. Like a rug so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh shit, Fliss and freaking Conrad are getting it on. Which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Frustrated. What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Okay, so... Actually, eh, it's slower. Way slower than, um... Nice. Let it go, bro. Nice. 
it's not that this game is actually taking time to like you know get to know the cast or you know the people in the game or you know the a little bit more than until Don did I thought you were the settling type I'm proud of you bro what is it check over here it's the one on the on the ship down below so we're going again tomorrow Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Right here. Let's go. Come here, you vixen. Aww. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. There, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. It hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Ah. Uh, I'll stay safe. I'm, not, I'm sorry. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the love. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh. I'm just gonna apologize. I'm not trying to. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. Oh my god, I, I, I thought about it like that. Fliss. Fliss is like a character that I'm just gonna like kick out of the fucking boat and just let her, cool ghost let her die, basically. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brett, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Support it. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear Why it. not? I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. 
He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Hmm. Amused. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts. Hmm. And all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Story. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, mm -hmm. opens the door, and Sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. The fuck? Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! Fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Oh my god, the freaking nice. I mean, holy shit. Whew. Nice one, Squire. She's so uh, disappointed. I'm disappointed. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, come on, that wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting, are we? Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. And I'm out. Oh my god, it's starting to rain. There's much stuff going on. We're playing as Conrad now. Okay. Oh my fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? is going on here now okay this game picked up a bit us <laughs> uh, these guys again I'm a 
went through this dude. is this dude Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Unite. To untie. Well, I said I heard. I saw you. Saw unite. Like literally. Come on. Shit. It's not good. Come on. God dang it. Of a circle. Ah, fucker. Ah. I'll be back for you later. Ah. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. <laughs> Gotta get used to this freaking um quick time event. God damn, dude. You shot the. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you 
see my brother? Nope. I hope he's okay. No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. Let me see how relations are going. Okay, so he's Leah. He they're he's neutral with uh Alex and Fliz. And Braddy's a little bit more Okay. So now he's cunning, he's a little bit more anxious, he's impatient and he's still reckless, okay. Don't let them your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. Julia, tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. God, you... it's okay. It's okay. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. This is not good. Man. This is not good at all. seconds. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, yeah. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Yeah, stay optimistic, man. I'm not gonna be like, oh, like, I can get this game right now. It's not gonna happen. I won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Oh crap, no, no. Foolhardy. What? Okay. Patient anymore, whatever. Oh crap, 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 this shit again. Go fuck yourself. Tommy, Get knife. Dude, I was pressing the Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Are you fuck me, bro? Sit down. Over there. You right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Jesus, I gotta. I don't know what the hell's wrong with this event shit, dude. 
Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Pissed off, they can't use my right. It's like I'm pressing it, but it's like, nope, no, 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 it's not working. It's not gonna work. You fucking blew our best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend. The severity of your situation, sister. Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. What the hell, dude? I'm pressing X. Sit still. Follow you. What the fuck? Go faster than that? Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there be consequences. Get it? Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Yeah, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Find. No. Listen to me. We have been kidnapped. I repeat, SOS, we are 20 miles north yeah. of... Ah! That was a brilliant idea. Motherfuckers won't get away with this. The police is gonna hunt you down. Dream on. Ocean's a big place. Easy to get lost. No! no! <laughs> Pressing X, dude. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? I'm pressing yet. Oh my god, the hell. I guess you tried to help, so you know, whatever. What happened? Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Gosh, dang. Stay optimistic on this. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. Give me a sec.
Okay, that's better. I'm sorry, but I have to do it. It's not working out. Brad's a big bull. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. I can't do it like without, you know, that it's not working. I'm if it's it's gonna be easier for me if I do it this way. With here folks, I'm gonna cut it out here. Thank you for watching. Stay frosted and mental. Watch for the next video. See you in the next one. See you later, folks. Bye.